it's such a blessing to be able to, first of all, have hearing, but secondly, you know, for life and to come out and be able to experience nature. I love stepping out on my porch and being able to hear the birds sing and chirp and things of that nature. Um, but this is just going to be a short introduction, uh, introductory episode for today um, because I will have a part two. I'll be having a special guest later on this afternoon. It was supposed to be for this morning, um, but every, everything that and pan out with the schedules like I like I um, planned and expected. So it will be a follow-up episode again this afternoon with a special guest. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm expecting to have my older brother, um, Isaiah. So just stay tuned for that. So I'm going to get right into the daily verse. And again, so this this one will be, um, today will be an episode where I will only do the daily verse in the first podcast episode, like in my introduction episode, which is this one, um, because this is going to be a short one. And then uh, the next one, I still have something small I'm going to do as well, but it just won't be the daily verse. So I'm going to dive right into it. Um, the daily verse this morning comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And again, that's from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 11. So, yeah, y'all, again, I will be um, coming back on here this afternoon, get some good words and good, um, you know, showing some, give, giving my brother some flowers and just giving, you know, giving some, getting some good information and wisdom from him and things like that and, you know, things of that nature. So, again, y'all stay tuned for my special guest episode this afternoon. I look forward to it. Really appreciate y'all. Um, the, the, podcast is still growing i really appreciate all the love and support i really hope everybody's getting something from you know what i'm what, what i'm what i'm speaking on and what i'm saying it's coming from my heart it's coming from my mind um i really you know enjoy to be able to have a positive impact and influence in people's lives you know what i mean because you know it's it's, it's it's easy to be influenced by negative and be attracted to negative so i want to be able to have a platform for people to be able to you know reflect and be able to voice you know happiness and positivity and you know people adhere to it and, and they they um they you know they 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 take they they draw towards it you know what i mean stuff like that so um yeah y'all stay tuned for this afternoon's episode special guest appreciate y'all great for gab you know keep it up see y'all later peace All right, grateful guy. Here's part two to my video um, for my episode today. Again, my special guest is here. I'm very, very excited. Um, this gentleman definitely means a lot to me. He has, you know, um, placed a lot of different, you know, um, emphasis, and I've learned a lot of different things from him in my lifetime, and I'm still learning from him now. Um, he's currently, you know, he's my eldest brother. His name is Isaiah, and uh, we're just gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna let him introduce himself, and then we're gonna go from there. Well, you kind of already did that, brother. Well, yeah, um, my name is Isaiah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How's it going? Thanks for having me here on Great for Gab. Yeah, this is gonna, what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, so again, like I, you know, like I, um, I always, you know, mention this, that my show is based on, you know, um, giving gratitude, positive things, you know, things I'm grateful for and people I'm grateful for. And again, you know, you are one of those people. Um, even though from my whole childhood, you know, my whole life, you you know, you've been there for me, um, being an example, showing me, you know, um, how to apply your intelligence, how to uh, apply yourself to things you want to, you know, you know, you earn and accomplish in your life, you know, from different, from many different aspects. I remember even being a child, um, you know, when we went to Dean Rusk and things like that, and we would come back and you would be in these all these science fairs and you know all this, you know, in, you know, intelligent, you know, type of activity things and you would come back with first place awards and, and that just motivated me. And, uh, you know, as we grew and as we both grew, you know, you continue to achieve on, on a, on a high academic level and things of that nature, you know, all the way up to your collegiate career and, and things of that. And, um, and again, that was just always motivation to me and to, and to, you know, to your siblings. Cause again, you are the oldest of, you know, a buku of children, you know, you're the oldest on your mother, you know, you're the oldest on your mother and father's side. So again, we, we all really look up to you in different aspects for different things. And, and you really do take, you know, you take grace to that and you really take it on a full head to be an example for your siblings. And again, I just want to let you know that we really appreciate that. We love you. You know, we, 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 um, and we see the growth in you. 
you know, as our oldest brother, as a man and things of that nature. And uh, I just want to pick your brain about some things that you're grateful for over the last, you know, of your lifetime. Um, things you're looking forward to accomplishing in your life um, and things of that nature. Oh, my God. It sounds like an intervention, bro. <laughs> I'm just playing. Go ahead, man. Pick my brain. What do you want me to say? Or what am I supposed to say? Well, first, thank you. Um, and I don't know. I'm not really a, a, a good interviewer. <laughs> yeah, it's not like an interview thing. Just I mean, you can just say um, some things you're grateful for I, in your life. I'm not really um, a talker like that about myself. Gotcha. So... <laughs> You have to ask me the questions. What do you want okay, to know? Yeah, about? What, what, okay, you so. You want me to list my accomplishments? Yeah, what are some things you're grateful for that you, in in the time of I'm your life right now? I'm grateful for everything, bro. Okay. So, I don't feel, it'll be, we'll be here all day if I'm going down the list. So okay, I mean, okay, so I'm give me some of your. For, I'm, I'm listening. waking up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm grateful for our family. I'm grateful for what we're doing. Uh, what am I looking forward to? I mean, the world is shit right now, so I'm looking forward to. You know, everybody just kind of turning this around. I mean, it's it's kind of weird, I guess, for me to hear about all the you guys looking up to all the things that I did. And to me, that's just, I mean, I guess that just comes with the territory. But for me, it's not, it doesn't feel, it's not that way for me in life. It's my life. Uh -huh. I just do what is in front of me. So I don't really know how to talk about that because... It's uh, it's kind of a conundrum, if you if you will. Okay, so I mean, um, so what are, so what are, so what are some things that you in my life, like you say, science fairs? It's like I didn't want to do those things when I was younger. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I didn't want to. So for someone to be looking up to that, it's like I don't really have the best attitude about those things. I mean, yeah, I would, I could have been good with it, but that only I was only became great at those things because I was a part of those things and. The person that would be coaching me, they really saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. So they would really pull it out of me and kind of force me to go to those things. And I would just happen to be good at them. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that's a little level of uh, intelligence in a way. No, I don't think it, I don't think you just happen to be good at, like you said, the people, they saw something in you that you didn't see. They knew your, your, your intellect level was you know, above you know, other people. So, and it just happened to be on display and you know and, and you saw that yourself too that's a lot of pressure you know i feel like that's a lot of pressure in a way on on a person i wish we could one um kind of adapt to more general um a more not general a more less general view point on that towards a lot of things in life but i mean right now i mean i'm just kind of i'm 30 years old now so i mean those are it kind of makes you feel like a little midlife crisis, if you will. <laughs> to look back on all those things and talk about all the things you accomplished in your life at 30, is, I mean, it makes me feel old. It's like I haven't accomplished nothing yet still. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. you go to college, but we're American. That's what everyone does. Yeah. I mean, yeah. everyone goes to school, so everyone should be good at it. Otherwise, what are you doing there? Not saying people should drop out, but <laughs> when it comes to college, I feel that I may have spearheaded that a little too fast um just because i i just thought that was what everyone did you Got, know gotcha so you felt like you wasn't moving with your own path you felt like that was the path that you you know you were seeing everybody else take right. so okay that point in my life yeah that's kind of when things kind of took a little different like i started changing my major um i started traveling more within the states yeah um you know, and I don't think people took that, took on to that very well. Um, so I got a few different um, reactions. I mean, but it's not, I mean, but it's for, it's uh, for yeah. your life though. You know what I mean? People, people going to react and feel some type of way about whatever. You know what I mean, people, you know, they, they should feel that they should feel more strongly about their own actions for sure. But you know what I mean? People will definitely, you know, always have opinions and little remarks and things like that about, you know, people's choices in their lives. But Again, man, it's about what makes it's you know. our life. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm in a big pivotal point. I'm changing careers, so, you know, I'm going to be switching over to a um, healthcare field, you know, so. Okay. But, uh, I mean, so it's, everything still boss. it's still boss, you know. Oh, yeah. Where it was like, I've worked in so many and did so many different things. Like, you go from music, you go to dance, go to drama, you go to uh, politics, you go to, you know, community activism. It goes back to all of that, but I mean, 
Um, since this COVID thing, I mean, right now, I, I just feel I haven't really taken a lot of thoughts to that. So this is a great moment to do that. But I feel like now <laughs> we're on a path where we are reawakening to things of that nature where we feel comfortable to do that. But everything is so different. And um, I just, it makes, it kind of feels like uh, the year 2000 again with the internet, you know, how old people don't know how to use computers. I feel like <laughs> our generation doesn't know how to be normal people. <laughs> gotcha. So it's kind of a reverse conundrum. So, mm. yeah, there's a lot of sick people. Definitely is. You know? Definitely is. And that's what's why I get on this platform, you know what I mean? I try to, you know, get to the ones who don't want to be brainwashed by the sickness and the evil that's going on in the world and things like that. And um, just a side note before I forget, I just wanted to put this out there. Um, this really made my made me, made my day when I had received this car. It was many, many, many years ago, and I just had spoke to you about this. My brother, he visited um, Africa when he was younger for uh, school purposes. Oh, no. <laughs> and um, he, he studied in the language of Arabic, and he was, you know, fluent in it, and he, he was able to um, travel overseas to Africa to be, you know, a part of, um, I think it was like the summertime or whatever, like it was a, it was yeah, a, it was like 2008, bro. Yeah, I know, but I still remember How many years it. years ago was that? 14. And then, wow. um, and then, um, <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, like, even from that, even from that stone, that, 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 that pillar of you, you know, pursuing, um, pursuing languages on a you know a whole d different scale you know thousands of miles from, experiences, you know bro. yeah thousands you know thousands of miles where we're from and when you went to africa and you know you, you you wrote us letters and stuff like that it just made me so proud you know what i mean to have to know my brother you know took these leaps and reached these milestones as a child to be you know to be in a different a different country to speak you know like the same languages as the native tongue and and it was just awesome, you know what I mean, to, to to learn about the experiences you think, you know, you the things you did over there and stuff like that. And it was just very, very cool. And I just wanted to, you know, again, put that on the air and um, say that, you know, things like that really helped me, you know, open my eyes to the possibilities we can do. Even, even from when our mom, you know, went to Italy and things like that when we were children, you know. I, yeah, that's all we knew. I mean, yeah, you so, went to Korea. Yeah, I mean, so it was so. just... It, it was just, I mean, when, and Germany. Yeah, when we gonna. I mean, you took that to heart, bro. You were all over the world. Yeah, I just yeah. Man, it, was, it, it was great. I mean, that's great that you remember that because it's like we all get to live through each other yeah, with each other. For sure. You know, but not for each other. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it's good that you remember that back. I remember those letters, and I remember how expensive it was, <laughs> and I was like at the post office. <laughs> Trying to talk Arabic, I was like a teenager, you know, right. to these people, and make sure that they're sending it to the right place. And they got there. But we never, we moved around so much, so it was like the place that I sent those letters at. We never went back there, so there was no way of me knowing. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> if these letters got there or not. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was dope. It was, it was cool, man. I definitely. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of significant. It changed the way I live doing that. Like I'm such a nomad from that experience. It's definitely. Um, Tell me about one of the the, the uh, biggest things you remember, like the uh, things that you you feel like you kept with you from your whole trip. Oh man, okay, we were in the mountains, bro, and um, we had went on this part. We had just left this little town called like Zagora, and we were looking for a town called ironically eureka so it's like this mountainside small town but they have the best tagine bro so we were it was so steep and we like almost fell off but long story short we finally arrived at the top of the mountain that was this beautiful waterfall i mean it looks more spectacular than niagara falls brother because it was like you could hear it as soon as you got to the top of the mountain but the whole time you're going up it's so scary it's like the road is getting slimmer and slimmer and it's like 12 people on in a like a six seater bus <laughs> 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 the doors like sliding open and closed bro oh my goodness As we're going up. but you get to the top and you see so many people wow it's like wait everybody how many everybody just came up this like this is normal mm -hmm. and it's just like it's it's like as if you know in atlanta we have Piedmont park so it's almost like you know, it was like Freaknik or something, not like actual, but that's how many people were out there. Yeah. And everybody's jumping off of this waterfall into this water that's so shallow. Mm. And of course, I, I climb up the mountain and we all go. And of course, I'm the one who 
cuts my foot at the bottom of the waterfall as I jump out. And I have to, like, do this little crab walk because we were told to not do it. That's why it's so memorable. And we're like, no, y'all can't do it. Just swim down at the bottom, take pictures in the waterfall like normal kids. But no, it was like three black kids and one, um, I mean, he's white, but he grew up in black people neighborhoods. So <laughs> we, of course, we all were naturally attracted to each other and became friends, even though we were all from different states. But we were the rebellious ones. And I just remember everybody like carried me to the car <laughs> down this mountain and we had we didn't know each other for like no more than probably two weeks at that point but because of the whole experience from the beginning when we missed our flight from america to morocco okay and we we're all in the airport trying to figure out how we're going to tell our, our parents that we're stranded in new york and then we're not going to be able to get there and then because one of our friends was from canada we were able to take this flight to canada and then to france and then to spain and then like a boat over across into morocco it was just an epic journey brother yeah. I mean, every memorable experience <laughs> I, I mean not to talk for long but i also remember when we were oh, going to the children at the schools in every city we went to we always went to like the elementary school and it was like the way that we were trying to learn arabic the kids were trying to learn english but it was like the level of arabic that we knew up to that point was it was it's like how when you hear toddlers speak, you know? Mm, wow. <laughs> how they're speaking English, but they're having full conversations. That's how we sound to them. <laughs> Got you. But the kids, that's about how much Arabic they know, too. You know, it's like they're, this is their natural language. So it was really a mind chain, mind altering experience for us because at that point, we really understood what we were there for. And to see all those less fortunate, and I mean, we say less fortunate, but to them, you can't tell them that they don't have fortune, you know, because yeah. that's all they know. But to us, we're like rock stars to them because they're thinking in their head, wow, they came all this way for us. Yeah. And we're thinking in our heads, we don't even know where we are. <laughs> we can't <laughs> even pronounce and tell you what's the name of this city we're in, you know? But that was in... We lived in this uh, city called Esoera, and it was on the coast, the west coast, kind of like the California of the United States. You know, California is Africa, the Gold Coast. And then I tell you, this water was so blue. And that was like, to be from the east coast and to have swam in the Atlantic and to have traveled all the way across all that water and then have swam in the, literally the other side of the end of the Atlantic. It's a totally different feeling on this planet you that's know, dope man places you above and below everything you know i mean the vi- to like the most high for all of that you know the visual such a therapeutic what'd you say no no i was just saying the, from the visual image i just saw like from you saying like you know how we travel the beaches and stuff on the to the atlantic ocean exactly and yeah, i just I'm went through your whole journey you know what i mean visual yeah bro it's like a whole you know it was kind of felt like how in, in Islam they take a hajj, like a pilgrimage, you know? So that's how I felt. Oh, Because I, I went there as a rebellion, you know? I was just, I was like, oh, we can go to, we can go here for free, sign me up. You know, I didn't even tell my mom. <laughs> trip. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like, all of a sudden, they get accepted, and it's like, yeah. And, and I didn't even know where Morocco was. <laughs> okay. no, I, remember. We all, I remember we all were looking on the map like, oh, yeah. snap. My boy going, to, my boy going to Africa, man. I was so it, it's just like I mean, like I said, just to have those memories of how you know how we were raised and seeing you know so many people accomplish things in our life that just motivated me to be able to you know be up there you know have accomplishments for my personal life and have my brothers look up to me and you know, people around me be able to you know say hey man I want to be able to, to see your greatness yeah too, I want to be able to experience things like that or be you know. You know, have life changing, you know, e- adventures and things like that in my life. And again, I just really appreciate you, Isaiah, for for who you are. You know, what I mean, as my brother. Man, we have to just thank our mother, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, as a kid, definitely, you know, a major, major part, you know, of who we who we became and who we are in our lives. And and again, she's a you know, she's a front runner of of of, of a person who's you know achieved and accomplished many many things and still doing that to this day. So again, bro, you know, I, mean, I just wanted to get on here um and let you know I appreciate you. Um, the journeys that we've been through, the memories we've shared over the many, many years. You know, you always supported me through my military career. I was actually remind, uh, thinking about the other day when you had 
you know, you, you um, came down to Camp Creek and you, you sent me farewell off. And I remember posting that picture on Facebook. And my brother was there with me before I went to the Army. And it was just cool. Again, you just always supported me and my decisions in my life. And just always being there to be able to, you know, give me advice and things of that nature. And I just, again, I really appreciate you. I yeah, love man, you. I, and, I um, appreciate that. I lived through that because, you know, I've always wanted, secretly wanted to go into the military. But every time I try, it's like, oh, it's so bro. Yeah. <laughs> but that's one that's always been my great honor. Like, yeah, I got a brother in the Army. You know, I got a brother in the military. I remember when uh, I would, every time I would see someone, like, uh, in the airport, and they would have one, like, that basic training. You know, that book bag that I always carry around, like, the basic training green. Yeah. <laughs> And I always see someone else. They always be like, whoa, hold on, hold on. I'm like, no, my brother's whore. You know, <laughs> not, my, not my brother's whore. <laughs> you a fool. <laughs> but yeah, man, again, bro, I just really appreciate you just, you know, again, being being a part of our life. God's really, truly blessed us, you know, to have a brother, you know, a brotherhood, you know, all of us in, in our lives. So again, bro, I ain't going to keep you long. This has been my longest video episode. But again, I really appreciate it. it was, a blast. We can we can really sit here and talk, you know, for hours and hours and hours. But yeah, it's been like twenty minutes. I'm pretty sure we should stop this now. Okay, right? don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, but um, okay. again, y'all, I really appreciate y'all. I really appreciate you. I appreciate y'all for listening to our conversation, tuning in. Thank um, you all. If you all know of anyone who's again out there, you know, doing good deeds and, and good actions for anybody in the communities, things like that, you all please reach out to me. Let me know. Um, again, you can reach me on Twitter at the real David Kane. It's at t h e r-e-l david kane again uh you can reach me there and um yeah zay appreciate you oh, yeah, I, i'm at look over here on instagram Thank you okay all. yeah you can follow him again <laughs> say, say your name again zay <laughs> i'm at look over here that's one word proper spelling i'm oh. the only one on instagram thank you nice okay cool yeah so yeah follow him and uh you can leave some comments on this thing as well um for y'all to if you know if y'all have any ideas or any um, anybody you all want to recognize for doing great things in their environment and their communities and things like that, y'all. Um, so again, appreciate y'all tuning in. Grateful Gab. Until next time. Peace. Peace.